Hey, Sue, you're watching The Flash. I'm Molly, and this is Ben. So, Ben, do you have any big plans for this fall? No, not really. Just hanging out and enjoying the weather. What do you have in mind? Well, from pumpkin patches to corn mazes, there are a lot of fall activities around the area. Erica went to check some of them out. As fall approaches, so do many fall activities. Valley Scare is one you may go to if you're in the Halloween mood. Valley Scare is just a spin-off of Valley Fair, except it's in September and October. It goes till November 1st. We also have a bunch of mazes inside the park, and a bunch of the rides are open. Valley Scare is such a fun place to be with friends. You can get scared. You can go on the rides if you're not a big maze person. It's also just a fun place to be. There's tons of stuff to do. Trail of Terror is also a good one, with a haunted hayride and an indoor heated scary maze. Buck Hill is doing something new. They're having four haunted houses and live music. If that doesn't interest you, then Eden Valley's Farm and Maze might. We have a hands-on animal farm. Lots of fun, fun animals. We have um, a giant slide. We have a maze that has five towers in it. And then we do train rides, painting pumpkins. We also offer miniature golf. So have fun and be safe this fall, Isu. Reporting for The Flash, this is Erica. Thanks, Erica. I can't wait to get my pumpkin and start carving. As some of you might not know, the girls' swimming and diving team has set the bar very high this year. Mac got the story. The girls' swim and dive season is now in full swing, and the team has already cruised to an impressive 3 and one start, due in part to their strong team chemistry and hard-working attitude. I think they have a good chemistry. They work well together. Um, they also seem to actually enjoy being together at practice, a lot of times when practice is sort of a drag. Not only is the team full of great teammates and hard workers, they are also an extremely talented group of swimmers and divers. We have great distance swimmers, we have great sprinters, great IMers. Probably the most depth in diving that we've ever had, and I think we're pretty solid in the relays. With a unique combination of talent and team chemistry, the team has set high expectations for the end of the season to get as many qualifiers to state. I think we want to get all three of our relays to state and try to get three or four individuals to state. Signing out for The Flash, this is Matt. Thanks, Matt. Come cheer on the girls at their next meet tonight at, er, tonight at Falcon Ridge. So Molly, have you heard about the new movie that was filmed right here in Minneapolis? Yeah, I have. The director of the movie, Rob Perez, stopped by ECU on Friday. Ashley found out more information about the movie called Nobody. Penny I had. Took out Last loans, week, writer and director so Rob Perez school, visited Eastview and, and gave a few of our classes a look at his upcoming movie set to premiere right here in Minneapolis. I promised myself that when I finish grad school, when I turn in this final project, that I would know then whether to keep at this or to just walk away from the The movie is about a young sculptor in his last semester of art school who can't quite find his inspiration. When he sets off on his journey to find this inspiration, he also tries to find himself, but in the end realizes that it's not too terrible to be nobody. It's a very silly comedy, so if you want a very serious movie about an artist looking for inspiration, you should go somewhere else. But if you want silliness about a guy who ends up checking out the goth scene, he ends up checking out the vegan revolution scene, he ends up checking out the gay scene, maybe even tries being intellectual for a day, then this might be your picture. So Eastview, if you're looking for something fun to do tonight, check out Ticketmaster.com where you can get premiere tickets to see Nobody tonight at the State Theater. Signing off for The Flash, this is Ashley. Thanks Ashley. The movie premieres tonight at the State Theater and will be played at Block E for the public. So Molly, have you heard about the little feud going on around Eastview? Yeah, I have and I'm definitely pulling for the little guy. Same. Keep watching the credits, these you. See ya. Bye. Hi, my name is BT, and that big guy over there is my friend, Sean. All my life he's bullied me, made fun of me, or called me little. But tomorrow, I'm going to change all that, because tomorrow, I'm messing with Marvin. The past is the past, you know? It's a new day, bro. Do 
donuts? What? Brett. Where are my donuts? I thought there were free donuts for me. Marvin. Dang it, BT! Dang it, BT!